Victory! Canada confirms that atheist refugees are eligible for asylum program. So I wanted to share some very exciting news that happened recently in the atheist and humanist community of Canada and a big milestone in pushing for atheist rights in Canada. So on March 24th, Canada's Minister of Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship confirmed that atheists and other non-religious refugees are eligible for less complex claims, which is an expedited refugee application process. So in an interview with the Atheist Republic News team, Robert Hamilton, president of the Humanist Society of Humanist Ottawa and treasurer of Atheist Republic, said that the LCC, or less complex claims, had previously listed religion and religious persecution among acceptable reasons for the refugee applicant to apply for this special program. However, the policy did not specify that atheists and non-believers are part of a persecuted group. At the time, Doug Thomas, president of um, Secular Connection, which is an, a lobbyist group in Canada fighting to lobby the government for secular and atheist related issues. Uh, and his team reached out to Marco Mendocino, who was then the Minister of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship for clarification. But Mendocino did not respond. After getting no response, they launched a petition which, ga which gained 2,500 signatures in 90 days, but was sidelined by the 2021 snap elections. The petition was presented to the House, a new petition, you know, re reiterating these um, claims and the demands, was presented to the House of Commons on February 8th, 2022. The less complex claim policy now includes individuals who, quote, have chosen to be disassociated from a religious denomination or community or those who hold no religious conviction, including non-believers. That's the actual verbiage from the including they mentioned non-believers including yes. non-believers amazing amazing okay why are you not mentioning your uh, you spearheaded a campaign to make this happen well um, no armin that's separate yeah. that's separate okay okay what yeah. was that about so, so um it, it's it's related but it's separate so there was this issue with the less complex claims policy which the verbiage omitted you know specifically talking about those who are not believers as applicable and eligible for this um this mm. special asylum processes right and okay. because of this verbiage being omitted um, it, it leaves kind of a gap or a hole where people could say, well, actually, we, we can't really say that you're eligible for this because you're not really explicitly included in the language, right? You're not mm -hmm. discluded, you're not, but it's not clear. And okay. so that was an issue with less, less complex claims. Secular Connection and many other atheist uh, Canadian organizations have been working, pushing for this to be very clearly clarified for like years now um mm. so when the crisis in afghanistan happened there was a similar issue with the verbiage so there was special refugee programs for afghans to come to canada okay and okay. once again it detailed that the people are eligible on the relation the the um they're eligible bait on the basis of religious persecution right but once again there was a very clear omittance of those who are persecuted on the basis of their non-belief of their lack of belief which as mm -hmm. all of us here know is very dangerous in countries like afghanistan and many other countries like iran saudi arabia pakistan etc all these right. countries are included for the basis of religious persecution so we were pushing the government to amend and clarify the language so that there can be no government official, no one who's conducting these refugee claims that says when, when someone's trying to go to the government to say, hey, I'm an atheist and I'm in danger because I mm. live in, you know, an Islamic country where I can be persecuted. No official can say, well, actually, you're not really included because this is for religious persecution. So it was right. just making it crystal so, clear that non So that was what your campaign was about. You started a campaign for that one. Yes. And that's how, okay, okay. It's a and similar issue, but technically different. Okay, okay. And you managed to get a whole bunch of very important names on that campaign, uh, like Yasmin Muhammad and so who else? And some other people. I mean, oh. it was me and a, a huge collection of people working I, I know, together. but you got some but really big Steven names. Stephen Pinker, Lawrence Krauss. Yeah. 
you guys even pick her and Lauren Krauss on that campaign. Like, I don't know, like, I just want people to know how active you are at that front. And that was like a major accomplishment that you, I just want, like, because you don't take time to tell people the great things you're doing behind the scene. People just think like, you know, so I just wanted to use this to mention like Susanna is doing like some really great activism in, in, in this line. Um, she had to get Canadian names on, 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 on her campaign. So that's why she went to uh, Steven Pinker, Lawrence Crowns, and Yasmin Mohammed. But that was it. That, so for some people who are asking about the, uh, that, that was related to this, but a, um, a separate issue. Okay. Do you think it's possible that, that the push on that campaign had any effect on this? Um, possibly, I think the largest effect had to do with the, the minister of immigration changing. So what happens is, you know, people are allowed to start these e-petitions online and petition the government to address certain issues that they find, um, it, it, you know, imperative to be addressed. And so what happens is when the petition reaches a certain amount of signatures, the government is mandated to address it on like the floor, you know, to actually publicly address the demands of this petition. Now, what happened with the previous petition with Marco Mendocino as the immigration minister is that it got the right am amount of signatures. It was heard on the floor, but then the minister who is mandated to respond to these petitions just never responded. He let, there was a, there was a deadline to, for response. He never responded. He just let it go. And then the snap elections happen immediately. So then that means that the whole process has to be reinitiated all over again because it's a new government. And so that's what Doug Thomas at Secular Connection did and worked with many other organizations, including the Atheist Republic Canadian community, to gather signatures, to get people behind this so that it would be heard all over again. And so this time it was successful. And um, you know, people who were closely with this talk about the fact that we ha now have a new minister of immigration greatly helped because they were much more responsive to the demands of this petition this time. Um, and Darko is bringing up a very good point saying, now they'll say, well, how do we know you're actually an atheist? So this was a huge contention with the previous petition because government officials you, you know this is what i hear from the people who are you know talking to these officials and working on this campaign really hands-on we're saying well you know any just anyone can claim to be an atheist and try to get into the country based on this refugee policy but that's bs because people do this all the time for religious claims it is well known that ex-Muslims will claim to be Christian because they know that that's a persecuted identity that they can receive accommodations and eligibility from. So they will claim to be Christians when they're not, they're actually atheists. And that way they can also get, you know, um, support from different nonprofit organizations. And so this idea that you can uniquely have this ability to falsify an atheist identity, one is way more risky <laughs> than other identities. And two is patently false because people already do it for other things. But the, the barrier for proving yourself to be a Christian is much less versus being for an atheist. So when Secular Connection did the petition this time, they specifically included a part of the petition that said that humanist and atheist organizations recognized by the United Nations, like Humanist International, like Atheist Alliance International, will be providing documentation that speaks to the credibility of these atheist asylum claims, which speaks to a level of um, how unfair it is that given the constitution of the Canadian government, that atheists have a higher burden of proof than other religious groups. So this yeah. is still an issue. Yeah, so, so just quickly, what it means is that, yes, it is an issue. People could lie, but it's unfair to say that this is an issue for atheists, but you have other protected groups that you're uh, giving refugee status to them, but will they have the similar issue with those claims as well? So you can't say, like, we can't make this available to atheists because they could lie about being an atheist, while at the same time they're, you're making this available for people who are being oppressed for being Christian or Jewish or whatever, uh, even though this applies to them as well. So this is like, you're not being fair. Like this is an issue across the board. It's not uniquely towards people who are claiming to be atheists. Yes, we agree mm -hmm. that this is an issue, but you can't withhold this from atheists because every, you know, or else we, you would have to withhold it for everybody. Um, but okay. overall, this is a huge victory because the less complex claim process allows um, basically refugee claims to be fast tracked in certain areas. So this can go a huge ways to actually like saving people's lives. 
Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our Blasphemy that we continue to send you more Blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.